Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 8 and x plus y is equal to x times y. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. We suppose that let x plus y is equal to x times y is equal to t and uh, by using this uh, algebraic entry a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus uh, b whole squared minus 2ab. This equation x squared plus y squared can be written as uh, x plus uh, y whole squared minus 2 times xy is equal to 8. Now in this equation we replace this uh, x plus y and this xy with this t. So this will become t squared minus 2 times t is equal to 8. Move this 8 to the left hand side this will become t squared minus 2 times t minus 8 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, t squared and we split this negative 2t as a negative 4 times t plus uh, 2 times t minus 8 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out t. In bracket left uh, t minus t minus 4. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 2. In bracket left uh, t minus 4 is equal to 0. In this t minus 4 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t minus 4. And uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, t and this plus 2. In bracket left uh, t plus 2 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 2. Now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, x plus y and uh, x y is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, y is equal to x y is equal to t. So when t is equal to 4 then we get a system of equations uh, x plus uh, y is equal to 4 and uh, x times y is equal to 4. When t is equal to negative 2 we get another system x plus uh, y is equal to negative 2 and x times y is equal to negative 2. First we solve uh, this system. From this equation we find the value of y we get uh, y is equal to 4 minus x. In this equation we replace this y with this 4 minus x then this equation will become x times 4 minus x is equal to 4 and x times 4 will become 4x. x times negative x is negative x squared is equal to 4 move these two terms to the right hand side then this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this expression at the left hand side can be rewritten as x squared we write this 4 as plus 2 squared write this uh, negative 4x as a negative 2 times x times
times 2 is equal to 0. By using this algebraic identity a squared minus 2 a d plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This expression will become x minus 2 whole squared is equal to 0. And if we take a square root of both sides, this implies that x minus 2 is equal to 0. And this implies that x is equal to 2. Now, to find the value of y, we use this equation y is equal to 4 minus x. We use the equation y is equal to 4 minus x. So, y will be equal to 4 minus 2 and y will be equal to 2. So, from this case we get the value of x 2 and value of y 2. Now, we solve this second system. From this equation we find the value of y is equal to negative 2 minus x. And in this equation, we replace this y with this negative 2 minus x, then uh, this equation will become x times negative 2 minus x is equal to negative 2. x times negative 2, negative 2 x and x times negative x, negative x squared is equal to negative 2 move these two terms to the right hand side this will become x squared plus uh, 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 2 plus minus the square root of this 2 squared will become 4. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 2 plus 8 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 2 plus minus the square root of this uh, 4 plus 8 will become 12 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to negative 2 plus minus this uh, root 12 can be written as uh, root 4 times uh, root 3 divided by 2 x is equal to negative 2 plus minus root 4 will become 2 times root 3 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2. In back left negative 1 plus minus root 3 divided by 2. This 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 3. To find the values of y we use this equation. We use this equation y is equal to negative 2 minus x. we use the equation y is equal to negative 2 minus x. So, y will be equal to negative 2 minus x is negative 1 plus minus root 3. So, y will be equal to negative 2, negative times negative will become plus 1 negative times plus minus will become negative plus root 3 and uh, y is equal to negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 minus plus uh, root 3.
so from this case uh, we we'll get the value of x in negative 1 plus minus root 3 value of y negative 1 minus plus uh, root 3 so the final set of solutions of uh, x comma y is equal to the first pair is uh, 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 and the second pair is uh, negative 1 plus uh, root 3 comma negative 1 minus root 3 and the third pair is uh, negative 1 minus root 3 comma negative 1 plus uh, root 3 this is the final answer of uh, this problem